Some pork farms was looking for uh, ways to continually improve our animal care and we identified that people with autism uh, may have some of those skills. So some pork farms identified uh, two opportunities that were um, mutually beneficial. One was uh, an opportunity to identify a new labour source. We also identified that there is a dearth of employment opportunities for autistic people. And when we blended those two together and realised that um, autistic people have a unique skill set that's very suited to working with animals, it's often an affinity with animals, there's a high attention to detail, uh, great capacity for learning and recall. And then you have this sector of society that has struggled for a very long time to find careers. It was sort of a logical conclusion that we might try and join the two together. So the Autism CRC came on board to help coordinate funding and to provide some research backup. And specialists in Australia are obviously uh, specialists in the employment sector with autistic people and having no background in autism, some pork farms knew that that was an area, you know, we couldn't do that on our own. First thing we did was to create a method for people to apply for a job that overcame some of the challenges that people on the spectrum would ordinarily have. We knew that things like interviews, for example, uh, and resumes are things that uh, people on the spectrum find challenging. So we threw those out the door. Work, when you're on the autism spectrum camp, is a, is a challenge in on itself because some of them don't know how to really communicate, some people really don't know how to have that, that social interaction. So, And even if you do land the job, you're, it's, I think it's that oddball side that some people just don't really understand. So, like I said, I've been looking for work probably this is my fifth year. My communication is not the best. I uh, I'm not very good with interviews. Like and I can answer the interview questions precisely, but not detailed enough. So I've just been frustrating and um, because I've been competing against other people that don't necessarily have uh, on this autism spectrum. Uh, I first saw it on Facebook of all places and immediately thought, fantastic, something actually targeted at um, kids with autism because the actual process of applying for jobs and that is just quite hard for them. In our area, we're from York Peninsula, so it's quite limited. Um, Sam worked at Target when he was at school, then of course, you know, he turned 18 and, you know, gradually the hours dropped off. Places like the supermarkets, that sort of thing, would be good there working with people, but, you know, they want people that are fast and they don't have to spend extra time to train up. There really just isn't a lot of other opportunities. That's the one thing that I have found challenging this last 12 months with my son being out of school and now trying to enter the workforce is that the moment I send a resume in and it shows that, that he has autism, we hear no more. So we created some booklets, um, some videos and uh, we communicated those to each of our applicants and we invited them to a two-stage initial process the first day was a virtual piggery. So what we did was we created a piggery type scenario inside a conference room. On that day at the virtual piggery, we give individuals an opportunity to introduce themselves. They get to know us. And then we run them through a series of seven or eight stations where they get a chance to try some of the piggery experiences. So for example, they get to change into their piggery clothing. They get to talk to biosecurity and some of the constraints we have around quarantine. And we teach them some simple techniques like things like how to climb safely, uh, how to open gates. We teach them how to inject. We use uh, pieces of fruit to try and make it more of a fun experience. So we do all of that in an environment that is very safe and where individuals have a chance to leave at any time should they so choose. The second stage of the initial process is we actually bring them out on a bus to the piggery and we give them an opportunity to try in real time some of the things that they have learnt the day before. Then what we do is a two week training process. The first week we work in small groups of two to three and they work with one to two trainers and we teach some core piggery skills. We had 10 participants that showed up the second week and they've been with us now for six days. And this is the last day of their 
hopeful transition to employment at uh, Wadsley's Piggery or She Oak Lock Piggery. Based on how people have not perform so much as how people have progressed during that week. We identify positions across the piggery that might be suitable for them. I've been doing um, mainly feeding them, going through marking them and looking at the numbers. And the numbers you find, you've got to run those through the feeder. Yeah, basically helping the pigs that are struggling to get feed all the time because they get pushed out or whatever, so. From, to me, just being not only out in the field, but also in the office well, just putting in all the data and uh, doing all the research and stuff like that. So, so I was playing vaccinating and chasing with the vaccination gun in one hand, spray cane in the other, and they got because you know I'm not very good with aiming the spray. I got paint all over me, but that's part of the job. The end of the the two week process of training. We uh, pull together our entire staff, all of our trainees, their mentors, supervisors and managers. And we have a, a small ceremony to present some gifts and some certificates to our trainees. Also to say thank you to our staff. It's really important to me that um, this program is leading to employment of autistic adults and uh, hopefully it's giving them some um, pathway and uh, a recognisable route to a long-term job. Uh, we pay every employee that we put on for the job they do. This is not a charity, but we very much recognise that there are as many benefits for our organisation as there are for the autistic candidates. 99% of the participants, either as applicants or mentors or trainers on the farm, have come to a new affinity with autism. To date, we have had over 90% of our trainees um, tick all of those boxes. We, we have had absolutely no troubles um, giving jobs to trainees who've come through that program. How long will the program last? As far as I'm concerned, it's indefinite. We want to embed this in the business. Uh, we would like to work with other agricultural enterprises and, and have a, a well understood uh, pipeline, if you like where we can onboard autistic adults and get them into appropriate jobs in the agricultural sector. So from Sunport Farms' point of view, this is going to be an inherent part of the business for as long as the business runs. If you would like more information, and I'd strongly recommend that you investigate it, please contact Sunport Farms or the Autism CRC.